Hello, Pokemon lovers, and welcome to a brand new episode of Rating All Pokemon, where I, Hilda, rate a bunch of Pokemon each week. Welcome to yet another episode. I have no clue, like, what episode we're at, how many I have done. I feel like I've done too many. We're getting close to the end of Sinnoh, actually. It's been a bumpy ride through Sinnoh. We, ha we, have, th we have three more, um gens to go after this so we're not nearly done but what the fuck do i do after this i feel like it's gonna be an empty spot in my heart doesn't matter we're not there yet so we're gonna start today we're starting out with number 474 porygon z porygon z is the evolution of porygon 2 it evolves into porygon z when traded holding a dubious disc now Something is wrong with this dubious disc. It is very dubious because for some reason some type of code error or virus snuck into Porygon Z's coding and it is a bit messed up. This uh this this Pokemon is full of errors and it glitches a lot and it's kind of creepy, but I like that about it. We all know that Porygon was a s result of a scientific thing. It is made completely out of code and um yeah, they, they thought, why not upgrade it? They wanted it to be able to travel through alien dimensions, but I don't think it's able to do that. And it is a bit messed up right now. It's now just moving erratically. It's looking a bit crazy. It's glitching and um, I feel bad for the little boy. I've always been oddly interested in the Porygon line. I'm not sure why. They're just so strange and I really like that about them. Porygon Z is uh, no exception, although there isn't that much to tell about it so I'm just gonna rate it I'm just gonna rate it a four out of five next up is a new Pokemon in the evolution line of routes it is Gallade now Gallade is the male equivalent of Gardevoir it is also a protect he protect but he also attack type of boy he's a swordsman and he's a gentleman and he's based after a uh, roman soldiers by the way its hair hat looks now male curlias will evolve into galade when you expose them to a dawnstone and uh i don't know galade is pretty cool i i like that gardevoir now is a male counterpart and it also has a mega evolution uh which i actually didn't know um kind of may have forgotten about that but you know i always forget things Sorry, I'm very distracted. There's an air, like a hot air balloon right outside my window. <laughs> I'm very fascinated by it. Ah. Now, Gallade is known as being the master of courtesy. It protects the ladies. I think he's one of those smooth boys. Oh, right. It's mega evolution. Yeah, I forgot about it. Wasn't, wasn't, it's, it's okay, I guess. Uh, not as great as Mega Gardevoir, though. Now, like I said before, it's kind of based on uh, gladiators or Roman soldiers. Uh, gladiators aren't really soldiers, aren't they? Doesn't matter. It's based on the Mermillo class gladiator, which are those gladiators that have like the little kind of mohawky uh, type helmet. And I think that's cool. I like the Romans. Also, its battle stance is usually the on guard position, which I cannot mimic because I don't know what that looks like. But it is. Trust me, because Bulbapedia says said so. <laughs> I give Gallade a 4 out of 5. Next up is Probopass. Now, Probopass is the evolution of Nosepass. Nosepass evolves into Probopass when it is leveled in a special magnetic field, uh, which is, you know, some areas in the Pokemon world. I actually didn't realize that Probopass is pretty cool. Obviously, it looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It is, uh, it is a big rock with a nose and a hat and three little things. Funny thing, though, those three little things that are on its shoulders and its back are called mini noses, and those can be detached from its body, and it can use those to uh, attack, which is fucking cool i love that it has a very very high magnetic field around it and it's so high that if it's inside a house it will actually shut down a lot of um devices in the house because the mechanic field is just too crazy and i like that although i wouldn't like it if it did that to me but it's crazy nose pass is based on the moai moai statues or the eastern island statues but there's also some statues in there that are wearing a hat and that hat is called a pukau now nose pass is obviously based on like the regular peasant statues but you know probo pass is extra and uh he's based on the pukau wearing statues on easter island 
Huh. Another thing Probopass is based on is a compass. Now, its big nose points to the north, apparently, and its tiny little noses point to the other directions. I mean, it, it kind of depends on which way it's facing in battle, I guess, but I'm sure it doesn't always point north. That would be weird. This is an unpopular opinion, but I actually really like Probopass and I am giving it a 4 out of 5 as well. Next up is Dusk Noir. Dusk Noir is the evolution of Dusclops. Oh, these evolutions just never stop, do they? Dusclops evolves into Dusk Noir when it is traded holding a Reaper cloth and, um, I don't know, Dusk Noir is pretty cool looking, I have to be honest. Now, of course, Dusk Noir is a ghost Pokemon and it wouldn't be a ghost Pokemon without some kind of creepy ass lore. Now, Dusk Noir has an antenna on top of its head that makes it possible for it to communicate with the crossover world, the crossed over, crossover world of the ghosts and stuff. Now, it, re it receives these transmissions from the spirit world and spirit world is constantly telling Dusk Noir to bring over spirits to their side. Now, it seems to be a bit confused about this because it also is seen protecting people from crossing over to the spirit world. So I think it's like, I kind of like it here, but I don't want to disappoint my boss. What do I do? Life is so confusing. Oh wait, I'm dead. Whatever. Now it has this like band thing on its belly and it can open that up. It's kind of like a mouth. And that is where it puts its spirits to, um, take them to the spirit world. Honestly, from what I've read about Dusk Noir, I think it's actually a good guy um, in a bad guy body. <laughs> it's very confused. Now, obviously it seems to be based on a Cyclops, but it may also be based on various Japanese folklore stories, such as the uh, one-eyed mountain dwelling creature called the Yamawara Wara. And uh, there's a lot of other Cyclops related legends in Japan. So I don't know, maybe Cyclops are just a big thing there. I, I don't know. I think Dusk Noir is pretty cool. I really like the way it looks. It's a very dope design and I give it a five out of five. Next up is number 478, Frostlass. Now I personally really, really like Frostlass. I think it is absolutely amazing. Uh, it evolves from a female snow runt. Now snow runt is really cute. We've talked about it before in this series, but I've also talked about it in the decks. Come on, snow runt, very cute Pokemon, maybe one of my favorites. I don't know. It evolves from Snow Runt when it is exposed to a Dawnstone and uh, it is pretty creepy and eerie and cool. Now legend says that Frostlass is the embodiment of a woman that got lost in the mountains and died there. Seems plausible to me. I think it's just a mountain snow spirit type thing. It's a ghost and ice type. It is able to freeze its foes with its minus 58 Fahrenheit breath. Oh no. But here is a very, very creepy Pokedex entry about Frostlass. Pokemon Sun says, when it finds humans or Pokemon it likes, it freezes them and takes them into its chilly den where they become decorations. <sighs> That's creepy as fuck. <laughs> now Frostlass is most likely based on the Yuki Onna, which is a spirit from Japanese folklore that lures victims into its den and freezes them and uses its tiny child also known as probably Snow Runt, to lure these people into their traps and um, pretty creepy, but also pretty cool. The French name for Frostlass is Momartique. It comes from the French word mum. This sounds like it would mean mum. It actually doesn't. It is slang for kiddo and sometimes even used as slang for girl or lass. That makes sense. And obviously the word Arctic, which means Arctic. I give Frostlass a five out of five because I think it's super cool and I love it. That was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I had a good time today. And now next episode, we're heading over to the mythical Pokemon of the Sinnoh region. So it's going pretty fast. Hope you're ready because I am not. It's going too fast. I'm gonna run out of content. It's gonna be over. Uh, whatever. If you want to sub, then do so. If you don't, then don't. And I will see you again next week. Goodbye.